record. Yeah. Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer. Well, I would like to address certain things today about, well, what we are talking about at Bible study at True Central. Um, no one doesn't hardly go to church anymore. Uh, well, basically, what I'm trying to get at, we have been talking about this at Bible studies at True Central in Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, that the spiritual walls have been broken down in this country, and people would rather believe in man nowadays instead of God, and they'll believe in Barack Obama or a Mitt Romney, and so on and etc. And basically, people have forgotten. Well, morale's basically going out the window. Good, wholesome values, uh, Christian values. People have to start finding their way back to God and put God back into their heart. And if we, if this country, if anyone in this country doesn't do this, this country's doomed, doomed. And that's the truth. People have to start believing in God. And there's one thing, one of the biggest distractions that people are buying into is uh, Football Sunday. If you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan or a uh, Cleveland Brownie fan or a San Francisco 49er fan or a Dallas Cowboy fan, Football is a distraction from the real thing that we should be doing on Sunday. We should be going to church. And we're not doing that. We're more concerned about Football Sunday or uh, your Survivor Series, uh, the WWE, uh, instead of, well, that's more important than going to have a, a spiritual um it's more important than a spiritual day. And I was talking to a neighbor that lives right next door to me in Verona here, Verona, PA. Uh, we were chatting how uh, people don't go to church anymore, how, how it used to be when he, he's old. He's about, I would say, somewhere in between 10, 15, maybe 20 years older than I. He said that he noticed people don't go to church as much on Sunday anymore. He was telling me back in the back when he was younger and and well people would invite him they would go to church and take a change of clothes. And then after church they would have a dish and they would go over to a friend's house from that church, from that a nomination and they would have dinner or lunch and uh and talk, talk to your neighbor, and and uh, and talk to their uh, what well, to their neighbors, and also family. And we don't do that anymore. We we feel that going to a football game or watching a football f game on a on a Sunday it it's more important than going to uh, pray to God and and believing in the Ten Commandments and. Uh, I shall not commit adultery, and I shall not, and and, and I shall not. Remember, and I shall not, and 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 show love towards our neighbor. And we're forgetting this. The spiritual walls in this country have been broken, completely broken. And people don't have the wholesome Christian values like it used to be in this country. And also a friend told me the only thing that was open on a Sunday, on a, on the spiritual day Sunday, was a church or a hospital. The day prior, if you had to uh, get food for dinner or for lunch or for breakfast, you would have to go out through the course of the week all the way until that Saturday. And if you had to fill up your tank with gas, or your gas cans with gas, you do so so you will you would have gas the next day in your car. The only thing, the only two things that were open on a Sunday, which 
ultimately that's a, a spiritual day to celebrate Christianity, to remember the I shall nots and I shall not make war and I and 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 and, and show loving intentions to your neighbor. Basically, that also brings a good sense of community. Whenever you uh, go to church, then go to someone's house or your house or the following Sunday, another person's house, bring a dish, talk, hey, how's your son doing? How's he doing in football? Or, 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 or how's he doing in college? Is he succeeding? Is he getting passing? Is he or she getting passing grades? How are you doing, Frank? How are you doing, John? How about you, Jane? How about you, uh, Joanne or Helen and so on and etc.? That also brings a good sense of community towards the community. People are, people don't trust their neighbors anymore because they'll rather go and watch football instead of uh, or go to the store. The store was never open. Like I said earlier, the church, the 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 Catholic or Christian denomination or or no denomination, just a Christ, Christian church, they're the they're the only ones open, and the hospital was the only thing open. And the spiritual walls in this country have been severely bro broken down. No one doesn't believe in good wholesome values anymore. That's what it seems like. It's all at at the thrown all out the window. We have to find our way back to God. Believing it in our heart, in our soul, and reading the Bible, praying to Jesus, praying to to God, we have to get it back in our hearts. We have to rebuild that spiritual wall again and have faith in God. It seems like everyone's having faith in man. Man is not perfect. Man could sin. We have faith in Barack Obama. He's a man. He could sin. We have faith in Mitt Romney. He's a man. And he could sin. We're forgetting. We should have faith in God. Because they've created the heavens. They created the earth. They created the water. And all the wildlife. And they created man in his, in his very image. We have to get back to the roots, the spiritual roots, rebuild the spiritual walls, have that sense of community again through the Christian church. We have to forget about the Steeler games or the Brownie games or the baseball on Sunday or the professional wrestling. We have to rebuild the spiritual walls because God when Judgment Day does happen, they're going to know the sinners, the sinners that don't believe in God, that doesn't have God in their heart or their soul. And I mean that. We have to get back to community, to, to having a sense of community, having trust in ourselves and having trust in love and loving our neighbor. That's the truth. We have to build up the spiritual Christian walls again because this nation will fall if we do not rebuild the spiritual wall to Christianity and God. That's the truth. We have to have, we have to go to our church, whatever a nomination it is, if it's Catholic, Protestant, or no nomination at all. We have to believe in good Christian values. We have forgotten this. We have forgotten. And that's what scares me. Because when Judgment Day comes, God will have a wrath and say, you're the sinner. We will allow the demons and Satan to take you down to the bells of hell. We have to, we have to remember our Christian heritage to rebuild the spiritual walls and to help rebuild this country. We have to have faith in God again. Not man. We have to go to church. Bring a change of clothes. 
then go to a friend's house or your house. Bring a, bring a, a dish. Eat dinner together. Have that sense of community, that faith and trust in our neighbor, and believe in the I shall nots or the what nots. And also believe in loving our neighbor. We have to do this or this nation is doomed. We have to believe in the Creator. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye and hasta la vista and God bless everybody and pray to God. Help rediscover your Christian ways and your Christian heritage. Even, even if it's Catholic, Protestant, uh, or whatever a nomination, even if it's a non a nomination, just straight up Christianity. We have to rebuild this country by rebuilding, starting to be rebuilding the Christian spiritual wall that we have destroyed. And a lot of people think it won't happen in this country. Well, it's happening in this country. Wake up. Start believing in God again and Christian wholesome values. This is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now and God bless. Have a good day. Bye.